Hi boys and girls, I'm going to tell you a story today and the story comes from this book called The Rainbow Fish. It was written by somebody called Marcus Pfister and it's about a very beautiful fish, in fact the most beautiful fish that lived in the ocean. He was all the colours of the rainbow, green and red and blue and yellow and orange and he had the most beautiful glittery scales tucked in amongst all his plain coloured scales and he cruised about the ocean and was very proud of himself and thought that he was very beautiful. In fact, all the other fish in the ocean called him the rainbow fish because he was so very beautiful. And then one day, a little blue fish came swimming by and he said to the rainbow fish, good morning, rainbow fish. I think you're very beautiful and you have all those beautiful glittery scales. I would really love it if you could give me just one of your scales. I'm just so dull. And the rainbow fish tossed his head up into the air and he said, give me one of my scales. Not a chance. There's no way you're getting one of my scales. And he turned around and swam away. And the little blue fish swam off to his friends and told them all what had happened. And he said to them, you know, the rainbow fish didn't want to share his scales and he's got lots of beautiful ones. And the rainbow fish carried on with his life thinking he was very beautiful. But what he did notice is that he was becoming very lonely. The other fish didn't ever invite him to play. And he wondered why that happened. So one day he asked a starfish, said to him, you know, I'm probably really lonely. I'm the most beautiful fish in the world and I can't imagine why anybody wouldn't want to play with me and why they don't invite me. But it's dreadfully lonely not having anybody invite me. Do you know why? And the starfish said, no, I have no idea, but I think what you need to do is going to speak to the wise old octopus in the cave. I'm sure he'll be able to tell you why. So the rainbow fish swam across to the wise old octopus in his cave and he said to the wise old octopus, I'm the most beautiful fish in the ocean. Why doesn't anybody ever invite me to play? Why am I so lonely? And the octopus said to him, I've been waiting for you to come because the waves have brought me a story saying that you're a lonely fish, but you're also very beautiful. And they also told me that you didn't want to share not even one of your little scales with another fish. So what I want you to do is to go away. And if the other fish come and ask, or if they invite you to play, you be kind and nice and possibly share some of your scales. Now that didn't sound like a very good idea to the rainbow fish. He really just wanted to keep all these beautiful scales to himself. So back he went to his spot in the ocean. And later on that afternoon, the little blue fish came swimming by again and he came up to the rainbow fish and he said ah, rainbow fish i really don't want you to be angry but please please your scales are so beautiful and you've got so many please wouldn't you give me just one oh and the rainbow fish thought about it, and it was very difficult for him but he pulled out one of his little scales and he gave it to the blue fish and the blue fish was really really happy but more than that, the rainbow fish felt very good inside. His heart felt good because he'd shared one of his scales. Well, soon enough, all the other fish noticed that the little blue fish had a beautiful shiny scale. And so they began to come and ask the rainbow fish for scales. First, the orange fish came along and he asked for a scale. Mm, the rainbow fish said, sure, I'll give you one of my scales. There we go. And then along came another little fish and asked for a scale. And the rainbow fish said, sure, I'll give you one of my scales. And each time he gave away a scale, he felt a little bit better and a little bit happier than he had been before. And he gave another one to the purple fish when he was asked. And then he gave one to the little orange fish that came swimming by. And then to a little pink fish that came swimming by. And eventually, he only had one scale left because he'd given all the others away and you know after that he became a really happy little fish in the ocean because he had all these friends his friends had realized that he was a generous little fish and kind and not at all selfish and they invited him to play very very often and he didn't mind that he was not the most beautiful fish in the world anymore he was just like all the others but it made him happy. Now I've got some ideas for you boys and girls that you can make your own rainbow fish. So you need to start off with some cardboard and you can draw some shapes onto the cardboard. 
which you then cut out so that you've got a whole collection of cardboard shapes like these. Then you can colour them in. You can use cookies or crayons, whatever you'd like to use to make them nice and colourful. You can do rainbow fish as well, of course. And then you need to collect together some shiny paper or just some coloured paper. Wrapping paper would be absolutely fine. And tear it into little pieces. And then you're going to glue those little pieces on like I have done on this little fish. And eventually you'll have both sides done. And that's when you need to get some string and a punch. And you make little holes in the top of your fish. You don't need to use a punch. Mummy can use a skewer or she could use a needle. And you thread the string through the top of the fish where the little hole is. And you hang it from a hanger so that you have a whole mobile of lovely rainbow fish. Both sides have been coloured in. Both sides have got shiny scales on. And you can have some short strings and some long strings. And then that whole mobile can be hung up in your window and you will have a whole um, scene of rainbow fish just to enjoy on your own. See you again soon. Bye!